taking a swim in a fancy lodge you're staying at for free. Life can be good when you least expect it. And what I expect is weeks of nothing but relaxation and hunting. Hello? Who could that be? River Knox here. Hello there. I see you're enjoying the pool already. I... You can see? Sorry, who is this? Let me introduce myself. I'm Andy, the owner of the lodge. The security system notified me that you'd arrived, and I had some cameras set up, so I just took a peek. Wait, you are THE Andy? The one and only. I can't believe it. The author of Tiny Stars in a Wolf-Eyed Sky is talking to me? I can't believe your grandfather had the nerve to reveal my real name. Wait, he did tell me that the owner of the lodge is the author, but never mentioned your name. He said you wouldn't be here anyway. Just please, keep this to yourself. You can count on me. As your biggest fan, I'd never do that. You know the saying. Never meet your heroes. And technically, we haven't met. Yet. Well, here's the thing, dear biggest fan. Your grandfather contacted my assistant to make an arrangement that involves another guest who should be coming soon. Imagine my surprise. I can imagine. I had no idea somebody else was coming. I... Who is the lucky person? It's supposed to be a mystery until the guest arrives. Your grandfather's wish. Ugh. He really knows how to spice up my vacation. He was worried, by the way. Said he wasn't sure you'd arrived already? I don't have service here, so it's just the walkie-talkie for the next few weeks. Yeah, well, apparently they'll be arriving soon, and you're supposed to throw an impromptu welcome party. <sighs> Can't I throw a party for you instead? Do you remember what I said about meeting your heroes? My assistant left you a note in the kitchen so you can make preparations. Don't want to stress you out, but you better get ready. Call me if you need anything. You don't have to ask me twice. And I almost forgot. Welcome to Matariki Park. The assistant signed it in the name of the owner? Hm. Strange. Seems like Andy has five dogs. Hi, Babsy. Kiwi. I can see why. Hello, Holden. Pizza. <laughs> awesome name. BB looks like trouble. You have some beautiful dogs, Andy. You've seen the pictures? Shame that none of them are hunting dogs. Holden looks like a wonderful blood-trailing dog. <laughs> yes. Shame chihuahuas are so loud. <laughs> Isn't he a corgi? Oh, whatever.
I got the meat. Are you asking for a pat on the head? No, I mean, I... I, I imagine you'd be different. You imagined a wise old man. It sounds terrible to admit, but... Yeah, sorta. Your descriptions are always so vivid. Makes me think you've been through a lot. Who says I haven't? I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm just surprised. Well, that's not the worst feeling, is it? So, why did your grandfather send you to the opposite side of the globe? He probably thought I was overworked and needed a break. And were you? Maybe. But not anymore. I'm, I'm as fresh as ever. Can you keep a secret? You're already keeping mine, so that seems only fair. I want to leave Bear Den Ranch and open a restaurant. That's it? Hey, it's, it's, it's been lying heavy on me for the past two months. Get to work, River. She said my name. Okay, I think this is more than enough. You wanted a pat on the head, and, well, I'm going to admit, you did a good job. What are your thoughts on the hangy? Definitely hard to prepare. Couldn't have done it without you. Without me? Oh, that was probably my assistant's doing. I think they're already here. What a mess, and for nothing. Must have been the wind.
The airport losing half of my baggage is not a big deal. Having no sleep after a 22-hour flight with two layovers is not a big deal. I'll enjoy the hell out of this vacation. Nothing can stop me. Jackie? Is that you? Where are you? <laughs> Whoa! Slow down, cowboy! I can't believe you're the mystery guest. Surprise? Oh, man. I was really worried my grandfather was coming. Why? It's a long story. Anyway, I, I haven't seen you in a year. We have a lot of catching up to do. Just maybe give me a minute? I feel like part of me is still on that flight. Need to get myself together. Sure. Go recharge. Hey, one last thing. I heard from Nina that you picked up some weird new hobby. It's Nina with the weird new hobby. Talking behind my back. So, what is it? Collecting stamps. <laughs> Isn't that an old man's hobby? You're an old man's hobby. <laughs> my grandfather might well agree with you there. I'll let you recharge your batteries. Welcome to the collection. Let's get you somewhere safe. Now I'm littering. What is it? <sighs> I took this with me by accident. I guess the hate followed me to another continent. No, no, no. Nothing will ruin my vacation. I should turn it into a song. Nothing will ruin my vacation. Oh, God. I should go to sleep. You won't believe what I just saw. Didn't you want to go to sleep? Sleep is for the weak. I just saw a white red deer with the biggest rack you can imagine. What? A white red deer? Yes. That's the local legend ghost. I can't believe you saw him before me. You only just arrived. Others spend months, years even, trying to catch a glimpse. He's supposed to bring luck to those who spot him. And... Sorry for making fun of your stamps. It's pretty cool as hobbies go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've heard there's some sort of local tourist attraction where you can collect hidden stamps. Yeah, I looked into it before I came up here. I already collected one. I'll keep an eye out and pick them up if I see them. Thank you, River. <sighs> <laughs> so sleep is for the weak. Oh, shush, that was just the adrenaline talking. 
See you after my beauty sleep. Seven days minimum. I assume the mystery guest was a success? Yeah, Jackie's probably the best person I could have asked for. Glad to hear it. She's crashing at one of the cabins far from the lodge and wants to sleep straight away. If you don't want to get out of shape, I have a suggestion. Would you kindly deliver something for me? It's not meat, though. I'm in the antler business. Antler business? I make chandeliers out of them. And I've heard there's a herd of sambar deer with beautiful black antlers. I must get my hands on them. So you write and create chandeliers as a side hustle. Another unexpected fun fact about your favorite author. Actually, not that unexpected. I always thought you had some hunting experience. That short story of yours where the antlers start to grow out of the old man's body? The description of the antlers' structure, the way they merge with the human bones, the level of detail is insane. Well, thank you. My number one fan. Can I send you the location? I'll even throw in some Manuka honey to sweeten the deal. Manuka? Isn't that like the gold dust of the honey world? <laughs> I'm in. Great. I'll send you the location. I can already picture the slow-roasted venison meat glazed in honey. Got him. Very nice rack. Please deliver it back to the lodge. And your friend, Jackie. Is she some sort of police officer? Oh, Jackie? She's a wildlife trooper. How do you two know each other? Uh, it's a story I'm technically forbidden to tell, but, uh, ah, well. She and her friend got lost in Nez Perce Valley, and I sort of rescued them. It wasn't a big deal. They're both wildlife troopers, so they were embarrassed to death about getting lost. But it was a stormy night, and could have happened to anybody. Still, don't tell Jackie I told you. Don't worry. Can you put it in the basement? This place has a basement? I'm not a big fan of basements. Are you a little boy afraid of the dark? N not the dark, exactly. It Whew. 
it's uh, just a basement. Oh, it's just a basement with chandeliers. Why do you have chandeliers down here? Just getting them ready for the clients. Nothing sinister. What did you expect? That I'd lock you up in there? <laughs> no, no. But also, uh, please don't. Maybe later. Another nightmare with a deer. You disappoint me, Brain. Better get ready. You up? Yep. Batteries recharged. I'll get straight to you. Just have one thing on my bucket list. Which is? Glowworm caves. Ugh. What? I know. You hate worms. That's why I'm not inviting you. But if you want to know... I really don't. Glowworms are actually the larvae of fungus gnats. They are carnivorous and catch their prey with silk threads covered in sticky mucus. They produce light through their tails using a process called bioluminescence. I told you I didn't want to know. Why do you want to see something like that? It's kind of beautiful. Looks like a sea full of stars. Yeah, no, I'm... I'm good. <sighs> Thought so. Damn it! Hi, Jackie. It's Andy. Can you help me out? Helping people is my professional deformation. And, well, my plans got cancelled, so I'm all ears. Can you go and grab a dozen honey jars from a cabin near you? Sure. Sounds simple enough. Also, do not tell River. It's a surprise for him. So, how are the glowworms? Cancelled. Oh no. Was their true identity as fungus revealed? Yeah. They're about to assemble a press conference to deny the claims. <laughs> I have just one more thing on my bucket list. Sure. And hey, what is it with you and your grandfather? I want to quit Bear Den Ranch and start my own restaurant. Oh. Yeah, that might break his heart. That's not what I wanted to hear. Better get his honey. So, just deliver it to the lodge? Yeah. Run, Jackie, run! What? Is that you and I'm Christine? Get out of there! Why? Just listen to me! Who's there? Is that you and I'm Christine? What the hell was that, Andy? 
Did I just steal that honey? Yeah, but don't worry. The owner's a friend of mine. That did not sound friendly. I'm returning it. Breaking the law isn't something I do. It's really just an inside joke between me and him. Please, bring it to the lodge. It's a surprise for River. Fine. But you're now officially out of favor tokens, lady. Hey, good morning. Did you like the honey from yesterday? Oh, you have no idea. But Jackie, she wasn't a big fan. Why? No idea. She refused to even taste it. Hmm. Odd. Anyways, are you free right now? This time, I need the biggest red deer racks you can find for a truly opulent chandelier. On it. Hello, Jackie. Are you bored? No, not really. I'm observing a group of rabbits and reading your favorite book. Oh, you'll love it. Then you'll stop disliking Andy for whatever reason. That. We'll see. Just wait until you get to the story about the boy serving wine at the war meetup. You'll be speechless. Stop spoiling it. I, I'm not. You literally just did. That doesn't count as a spoiler. And hey, do you want to help me find red deer with big racks? For Andy's chandeliers. Ah, uh, ha, ha. No way I'm helping her. What about helping me? Let me read. <laughs> she likes the book. Can I get your autograph in exchange for getting this red deer? Don't you want to get paid instead? Your signature is more valuable. Did I tell you I bought one of your signed copies online? For how much? How much, really? I'm not telling you that. Why didn't you write under your real name anyway? I didn't want fame. Vanity's not my thing. But you didn't know you'd become famous. I always knew. You can store the deer in the basement. Feel free to use the meat however you'd like. I always knew. Damn. Seems like I have everything, apart from the goat meat. But let's go with more than one meat pie.
I may have too much meat. Hey, I think I got too much goat meat on my hands. Uh, would you like to have some? I'll get it ready for you. No need. Thank you. Hmm. What should I do with it? Maybe I could send it over to Nez Perce Valley as a gift for Grandpa. Any customs restrictions in the area? No idea. But you can just leave it in the freezer and no harm will be done. Freezing it is, but fresh is the best. Grandpa should know if there are any restrictions. He receives shipments from all over the world. I thought you didn't have cell service. Nah, that was just an excuse not to call him. There's a landline in your lodge. It's not working. Are you sure? I gave it a go and the line was live. I'm sure. I'll try it anyway. Maybe it was just a temporary outage. No, don't use it. Okay, uh, if you say so. Uh, sounds like you don't want me to use it. It's just, it's my office, and I don't like people going in there. Sure, I'll respect that. Respect schmespect. Let's see if it's really broken. Hey, Jackie. Andy is acting, uh, suspiciously. I knew it. What is it? Did she make you steal something, too? Wh what That honey you enjoyed. I stole it. What the hell? Yeah. So what did you find out? She was way too weird about me using her landline. Uh, as if she didn't want me looking around her office. My red flag was bigger. Why didn't you tell me? I was embarrassed, and it's just honey anyway. It was Manuka honey. What? Is that, like, special? You know everything. How have you never heard of Manuka honey? Well, I'm glad your opinion of me is so high. But food is more your forte. Shit, that's weird. Why would she do that? I'll use the landline, and then radio you. Hey, just checking on you. Uh, you want some goat meat now? Yeah, I'll take some now. I'm close to the lodge. Damn it. You really shouldn't have done that. Of course. I should have known. I should have looked into her the moment I got that honey. I blame vacation, Jackie. Now River is missing. Calm down, Jackie. Think of your happy place. Screw being happy. Angry works for now. River? River! Are you here? Jackie, you're looking pretty distressed on the cameras. Is everything okay? Where is River? He didn't tell you. He called his grandfather. He's at the hospital again. What? Yeah, he left in a hurry. Sure, Andy. As if. <laughs> You think I'm lying? Maybe your wildlife investigator instincts are wrong on this one. Wouldn't it be the first time they've failed you, right? It's silent. River told me how you met. You got lost in the forest. <laughs> and I did a little research into you. You killed some famous moose back home, right? And now maybe you're about to make another mistake. Oh, shut up.
Now, they won't get on my nerves. Where would I hide something I wouldn't want anyone to find? Don't care. Isn't that River's grandfather? Who sat next to him? And why was this in a locked drawer? This won't tell me where River is. Nothing. Probably too obvious, assuming that there's even anything hidden. <laughs> Listings for a real estate agent named Christine Averson. <sighs> River could be in any of these. Wasn't that guy screaming the name Christine during the honey heist? Wait, this says that the owner of Andy's is a 75-year-old man named Andrew Simmons, not a young woman. This means the Andy I know is Christine? But where is River? One of the listings she's in charge of is the lot with the glowworm caves. Could it be? Nah. But it's closed. It'd be a perfect place to get rid of somebody. Might be a dumb idea. Ugh, I wish Nina was here. River! River! Are you here?
tiny stars in a wolf-eyed sky. No, 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 no. River! He's breathing. It's too soon for you. I already made a logo for your restaurant. Just stay with me. Oh, ouch. Maybe I should have stayed a little longer in the hospital. No, no, no. That's not how I'll finish my vacation. Better not mention the pain to Jackie. Ugh. This sounds like a crime against humanity. And food. Let's make it. But no way in hell I'm using canned spaghetti and sauce. I'll elevate it a little bit.
I got a hunch you're not resting as the doctor prescribed. I... I'm lying in bed? Can you hear the softness of the sheets? Maybe I shouldn't have destroyed the cameras around the house. Come on, it's been a few days. Since you were stabbed, thrown into a cave, and carried out by me? Even so, can you explain a little something to me? Ask away. Who is the real owner of Andy's Lodge? Andy? His full name is Andrew Simmons. He's a good friend of my grandfather's. The other Andy is Christine, a real estate agent who's been using client houses without letting them know. Exactly. Our visit surprised her. Even the hangee and the cookbook were prepared for me by Andrew. She just went along with it. She used Andy's house for her chandelier business, but a number of other listings were used for other purposes. What kind of purposes? Are you back to vacation, Jackie? Hell yes, I am. Then you don't want to know. They're the sort of purposes that made her want to murder me after Grandpa told me that the real Andy is a different person. And how did you end up in the cave? One of her clients owns the land the cave is on. She's been using it to dispose of stuff that shouldn't be recovered. How did you know I was there? Oh, what can I say? I have a brilliant detective mind. Aren't you disappointed that you haven't been in contact with your favorite author this whole time? Of course I am. <sighs> but Christine was probably right. Never meet your heroes. Hopefully the real Andy wouldn't stab me and throw me into a glowworm cave. <laughs> You'll never know. I'll head to the lighthouse and prepare our last matariki dish for us. Everything's ready. I'll be right there. And guess what? I told Grandpa about the restaurant. How did he react? I don't know. The moment I told him, Christine stabbed me. At first, I thought it was just the relief of finally telling him. <laughs> you didn't call him from the hospital? He texted me telling me to get better and asking the name of the restaurant. What's it going to be? You didn't like my brilliant idea. <laughs> Why should I call my restaurant Jackie's? Because my name is pretty. It is, but I'll think of something better.
I think I have the name of the restaurant. <laughs>